I mean, check this out. We've got our structure literally spawning all over the Minecraft world. That's sick. Hello guys, this is Spider Rock, and welcome back to another tutorial video. Yes, I know it has been a while since a tutorial video, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a cool type of add-on. You can make custom structure generation throughout your Minecraft world, and it is pretty easy. And I'm going to go through everything that you need to know in order to make uh, an add-on like this right now. And you don't even need to do any like programming or anything, really. Um, very simple stuff. So this is using something here. So I guess this is the world that I use to make stuff for it. But this is using something called the Feature Rule Generator by Machine Builder. There is a link in the description to a place where you can download this. Um, this little file here that comes with all of this stuff in here. And using this feature rule generator, it allows you to generate the custom structures. So it's pretty easy, um, but there's a little bit of setup that goes into it, which I'm not going to get into right now. But if you want to see how to do that, link in the description, machine builders video, subscribe to him too. Um, and that will show you sort of what you need to know in order to do this. But uh, you're also going to need to set this up. You're going to need to have a Google page pulled up with the online UUID generator. Just UUIDgenerator.net or whichever one you want. I'm not going to put a link to this because you just have to look up online UUID generator. Um, and then you're also going to want to... Here, I need to make a new one of these. You're also going to want to go to... Come on. Go to com.mojang, your uh, Minecraft folder. So this is through whatever... I don't know, it's different depending on your computer, but com.mojang, and then you're gonna to want to go to development behavior packs and create a new folder. So this is, I guess, the first step. So uh, actually, first maybe we should build something in the Minecraft world. Um, so I'm going to build something maybe with diamonds and emerald and gold, because that would be fancy. This is what I would want to find in the world. And then maybe like, I don't know, what's something that's worth stuff I don't know I'm just gonna grab some stone bricks and some some kind of terracotta maybe I don't know I want it to look cool here I'll just start with this so I'm gonna create like a little a little base here so I want this to be something generating in the overworld um, just on land and stuff is what I'm gonna do with this so I'm gonna make this little structure here that maybe I'm not gonna release this as an add-on by the way this thing I'm making this is not going to be an add-on I'm releasing. I am working on an add-on with this though, so stay tuned for that. Um, whenever I feel like releasing it, I will. Um, and then if I want to put something over the top of this, maybe like, hmm, maybe I'll just grab some cobblestone. I don't know. I'm not making a very fancy structure here. All right, this is just for for demonstrating demonstrative whatever purposes. That this uh, maybe I'm actually going to make this here. Just because it's a little bit easier for me, um, it is easier to make it generate if it is a solid block, but I'm going to ha go ahead and do this too, just here and here. I don't know. I just, I'm just making a thing, okay? I'm making a weird structure, a weird pattern, but this is what we're going to be generating um, using the feature rule generator, this right here. So we don't even need to remember the coordinates of it. All we have to do is just save and quit out of the world right and then head over to i guess first go to your development behavior packs create a new folder here and then so whatever i'm going to name this, this is going to be uh structure i can't type very fast oh why is my caps lock on okay well that's gonna work structure there we go so head into there then there's a couple things you want so i'm gonna go ahead and you don't need to do this actually maybe you should do this so hop back to combat mojang and look at your resource packs, or actually your behavior packs, now that I think about it. Um, go to your behavior packs. So just find a, a add-on that you know that you know works and that works pretty well. And then if you look at the manifest, rather than having to like redo this whole thing, this isn't the one that I actually got to work. Um, well, there there are a couple that do work pretty well. I can't remember which one uh, that I was using recently that I got to work. It was one of these things here. Um, but, oh, Automatic Craft, that's the one I used. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the one I used. Okay, well, anyway, just copy one of these for the sake of time. Uh, there are some that work for this and some that don't, so I'm not entirely sure what works and what doesn't. For the sake of time, I'm going to use the one from that add-on that I am working on, Special Caves. 
I'm going to copy that as well as pack icon. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and copy these, but you can take any functional add-on and copy the manifest and the pack icon and then paste them into here as well as create a new folder called feature underscore rules and then a new folder called features just like that so it should look like this one this is sort of the one that i have that i know works so i'm gonna go ahead and close out of that now so in the manifest it should look something roughly like this with multiple uuids i per i per i prefer the ones that have two uuids over the ones with three however the ones with three will work um, so I just wanted to find one with two and I know that one has two. So go ahead and go on your online UUID generator, copy it, just click the copy button and then head back to your manifest and paste it right in there as well as directly below it. You can paste the same one in, but then on the one down here, you're going to want to change that two to a three or a one or whatever, just change it. So they're not the same thing. And then you can save that. And then rather than special caves, I'm going to give this name. So there's going to be, uh, yes, yeah, whatever I'm typing here, that's that's what that's going to be. Okay, um, I'm not, I'm no programmer, uh, but I know what I'm doing here. And then just type whatever you want here. Yeah, actually, I don't know if that will work. So there we go. And then you're going to want to put, I don't know if the description here has to be the same, uh, but for the sake of, being consistent, I'm going to make it the same thing here. Uh, just cause like, I don't know everything. I just know how to make this work and that's kind of it. So just make sure your manifest looks something roughly like that uh, with whatever name and stuff that you want to have there. And then head over to your pack icon and you can make this whatever you want. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm probably just going to make it like a blue box or something. You have to give me a second so I can go ahead and, uh, and it's okay. I don't want to do that right now, thanks. Okay, no, where is, where is my, okay. So I'm just gonna grab my paint bucket tool, fill this with red, set to 100% tolerance. There we go. That's going to be my manifest. That's going to be my, uh, that's the picture you see when you're looking at your add-ons and you wanna see which one to use. So that should be there now. And then these two should be empty right now. This is where feature rule generator comes in. So go ahead, open up feature rule generator. Uh, it may take a second to load, so I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead. Okay, so once it opens up, it should just take a second. Um, I already have my world sort of selected here, but it should it should load up pretty quickly. Don't close out of either of these until you want to be finished. And then you can go in and choose which world that you want to uh, use to generate stuff from. So mine is structure gen, but it'll be whatever world that you want that you just built the structure in. Then hit select world and then hit load world into memory and it should say complete twice there. Uh, then you go to select a region and now you can see, if we go through, you can see everything that I have in this world will actually be right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up here and you can make this bigger or smaller if you want to, but I just generally know that this is sort of right up here. So you're going to want to left click on the block in the top corner and then right click on the block in the bottom corner. And then same thing goes for this one too. So we have our whole area selected. Um, then go ahead and head over to export selected region. So you can change this to whatever you want to. I'm just going to call it a uh, stupid underscore 001. There we go. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it. Then this is where things get kind of interesting. So this all looks pretty confusing, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this will show all of the different biomes that you can have it generate in so if you want to specifically add things uh, add specific biomes so i only want it to be in flower forest or only want it to be in frozen biomes or only in ice biomes then you could do that and if you have custom biomes then you can add them with this but i'm not really going to mess with that right now although if you do want to do that uh, that is an option there as long as they're imported but i think you're going to have to talk to machine builder about that one um so i'm just going to have it be overworld on land that's really all I want to be. Blacklisted biomes are lakes, oceans, and rivers. And then I want to save the box to the palette. I just like to have that checked. Um, it makes it, if you're going to add more to that add-on, it makes it a little bit easier. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll explain it in a second. And then I want this to generate all four rotations. Um, actually, I might just make it generate two rotations since it is uh, technically symmetrical on one axis. 
Well, it's not technically symmetrical because it's five blocks away. So I'm just gonna make it all four rotations for now, it's fine. And I'm going to include air blocks because as you guys saw, there were a couple of air blocks there. Um, and then, yeah, so this is all looking pretty good. Then spawn placement setup. So this is where you, these are sort of the presets um, on surface and sky underground on seafloor between set Y coordinates. So I'm just gonna do this on surface for now. Um, and then this is just sort of between like five and 255. So this is going to be on land. Uh, this is all pretty self-explanatory. If you wanna do with something underground, I definitely would recommend having include air blocks on. Um, and then that's when you're going to alter the underground and then in sky is going to be these and all of them are going to be affected by the just general height uh, Y and min Y and max Y and here's the scatter chance. So this is really important uh, If you're doing anything underground and you want it to be like Not as common as like, you know a tree, but you want it to be more common in a dungeon or something I'd recommend 25% um, especially if it's between a small area of you know minimum maximum because that will allow you to find it easily but not too easily uh, other than that i'd recommend like 10 percent or five percent but for the sake of this i'm going to set to 50 percent uh above ground just so we can easily see it uh spawn around our world this structure and then use existing black palettes if this is your first structure for this add-on i uh, don't mess with this but if you've already made one then you'd want to hit browse for pack and then you'd want to go to whatever add-on that this add-on is and you just click on that and then load it in. It's kind of hard to explain, um, but yeah, if, if you already have generated multiple structures for that add-on, so like for me, if I was adding this to special caves, I would select that and hit select folder and then load palette into memory, but I'm not because this is a different add-on. Um, so yeah, this all is looking good. And then we are going to want to go ahead and go to export selected region and then generate JSON files. And this should take a second if this, uh, okay, that took, that was pretty quick. But if this ever says like something about not responding or whatever, just give it its time. And this should say complete um, and everything. So just go ahead and minimize these for now. And now if you look now, you have these output and output rules folders. So you're going to want to use these, you're going to want to hit control A uh, to select everything and then control C to copy it. And then you can go ahead and delete that in a second. So that output will go to features and then output rules to feature rules, if that makes sense. Um, so you can go ahead and delete output and then output rules, control A, control C, then go ahead and go to feature rules control V and then go back, delete that. So now we should in theory have all the files for this. Now because it's in development behavior packs, it should uh, be able to load right up. And if this doesn't work, then I might have to do a little bit of troubleshooting uh, and figure out what I did wrong. And by this point in the video, you'd probably already know about that. So go ahead, if you wanna test it out, create a new world. Okay, here we go. So if we head to behavior packs, it should show up at the top. There we go, structure. Yeah, whatever. Uh, it should, there should be no read more, read less. It's pretty small file size. I hit continue, activate that. Go ahead to your game, set it to creative for now, but you can set it to survival, it works fine. And then put your name as whatever you want it to be. Uh, I'll, none of this really matters. Um, I'm gonna put on that for my, myself, but go ahead and turn on experimental gameplay. That's very important. I don't know if you need to do this in 1.16 yet, but I know in 1.14, make sure you do, it's very important. I'm gonna turn on always day and stuff. So in theory, this should work completely fine. So if I hit create, give it a second. All right, and I just loaded in, well, there are a lot of structures here. So, yep, our structure is just generating all over the world. Would you look at that, guys? We have our structures literally everywhere. And all the diamonds you could need. Like, this is really cool. So none of these should be, this is actually an awesome seed. Hold on, wait a second, this is so cool. I, I'm I'm getting so sidetracked, but this is sick. Like I really like this for Venus. Hold on, let me grab the seed. Um, okay, if anybody wants to play on this seed, I was not expecting to find a really cool seed here. Uh, but this is a really cool mesa biome, come on. Really cool mesa biome, why is this, okay. Uh, let's see, where is seed, there we go. Negative 98, 3, 3, 0. 27. Okay, I'm, I took a screenshot of it, so I'll be able to tell. That is a cool seed. Anyway, I don't know what happened over here. It looked like, oh, these two, they glitched into each other. They literally like, what? 
what happened here? Uh, okay, well there are every now and then one will glitch out, but I mean check this out We've got our structure literally spawning all over the Minecraft world. That's sick. Okay, so This works. This is on 50% 25% will happen a lot less than 50% if it's underground, but a lot very similar over above ground so this is giving it a 50% chance of spawning in every single chunk um, So this is that's what the 50 means A um, hundred would be a hundred percent. It was guaranteed spawn in every single chunk um, And then you know one percent five percent whatever um, You know if you're trying to make something that won't spawn very often I'd recommend doing like something less than five percent um, if you want it to just like, you know, one here and then maybe one over the other side of there and one all the way over there in that biome. This is really cool though to see like our little really weird structure being spawned everywhere. So you could imagine this would be cool if you had these spawning just around the world. Um, now they will like sometimes intersect with trees and stuff, but the air blocks are saved so it will actually cut a hole in the tree. I'm not sure if that's a thing that there is a way of uh, dealing with, but I don't recommend doing this at 50% uh, unless you're trying to like purposefully ruin a world because this is like they're all glitched into each other and stuff. Well, not glitched, but they spawn inside of each other. Oh, look at this one. It spawned, uh, it spawned like slightly underground. It's cool. At least you can see. Oh, okay. You can see the whole thing is here, but I guess this is probably where I should end off the video. Although if you want to do this again, just make sure uh, you, you can even leave this. Uh, let's see if you want to. You can even leave the feature world generator open and then just go ahead and do the same process uh, but just copy copy just change the name from stupid one to whatever you want it to be and uh yeah it's pretty pretty easy pretty self-explanatory uh once you get the hang of it the ui i mean it's i, I personally i think this is very intuitive uh, however it's kind of got a bit of a learning curve to get used to uh, also if you hit align to chunk then it will always be in the same spot um, in every chunk. Although I don't know if it will be in different rotations. I'm not sure I haven't really messed with that. Um, you can also use custom blocks with this too. Uh, so it, this will not hold data values of things like chests or spawners or anything like that. I mean, there are some items that, or some blocks that just doesn't work with. I think uh, the lectern is kind of bugged out. Um, but oh, I, okay, I'm just selecting random stuff. But anyway, there's a link to Machine Builder uh, in the description. He's got a YouTube channel. I'm gonna hop into that just so you can see that if you want to uh, figure out how to do this a little bit better, you can use this video here. Uh, this goes not necessarily more in depth, but there are a couple other aspects of this that he will cover. Uh, so I recommend checking this out. I tried to make a little bit more of a more of a simple explanation for how to do this because I found his video a tiny bit confusing, but that's just me. Anyway, if you made it here, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna see you guys later and bye.